Midnight and Kondo and welcome to my YouTube channel and today I am not alone as you can see I am with the lovely the lovely friend of mine she can introduce us all hi guys and welcome once more to Zubi's channel if you have not subscribed to this channel please do the right thing before you get into anything okay. please do the right thing and hit the red subscribe button until it turns gray and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you are notified every time Zubi does upload something which is very often lately uh -huh. okay. <laughs> um, yes and become a part of this family it is absolutely free right so my name is Apiwe Bongo um, otherwise known as Apps mm -hmm. and Pasta Apps. Show you the name. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually gonna put. I'm gonna put Pasta Apps on there. On my caption. I'm here, Ikomalam, and I'm so happy to be here. Oh, thank, you thank you for finally coming. You couldn't even die in the invite. No. <laughs> but you know, it's I think those guys for their lead, and you know, yeah. it's good. Yeah, really you know, timing. Bad. But thank you so much for coming here. Like, I'm actually so glad that you actually came here now. As you yeah. said, it's not a typical in a timing here. Yeah. So basically, without further ado, let's get straight into what we're here about. Mm -hmm. So, as you guys can see from the title of this video, we'll be talking about suicide. Ne? I don't know exactly what the title will be, okay. but okay, we'll be talking about suicide. And um, I have Apiwe Apa. Um, you guys might be wondering why is Apiwe here and talking about suicide. Um, she actually has a testimony um, that she... You don't shy away from speaking about mm -hmm. it because at, at the end of the day, it is a testimony. Mm -hmm. And I thought it would be fitting to have her here to share her testimony with regards to being at a suicidal point in her life and what saved her from that. Yeah, well, um, Because suicide is something that has become so prevalent in our time, especially as young people. Mm -hmm. and it's become something that is so easy for us to get to. Mm -hmm. And I believe... Most of us get to that point in our lives where we feel like, I just want to take my life. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just want to <laughs> take my life. Yeah, well, so I'd like her... Okay, I think it would be fitting to actually give a definition, just to start the video off, of what is suicide. And then from there, we can just hop on to... I'd like her to share from her experience... Mm -hmm. Um, just to take you guys through the journey that she went through mm. in being suicidal, what led her to being <laughs> at that point, and you know what happened afterwards. And then, yeah, the conversation is gonna flow away too. Okay. There's no complete structure. Like she wanted literally to know every single thing that was going to happen. I was like, relax. <laughs> it's literally just a conversation, and I just want you to share That's from your own experience. Nez, that's a toxic chain. chain. You want to be in control? I don't know. <laughs> I want to know what is going to happen and how it's going to happen then, so I can prepare my mind and, get you. and my thoughts and gather everything. So, first of all, um, I think for me, how I'd loosely describe or define suicide is like when a person takes their life, mm -hmm. right? And then being suicidal is when you have thoughts um, around taking your own life. Sure. So there are levels to this thing. Sure. Um, and we usually hear when the person has already done, you know, the act when they have committed the suicide. And we, ha we hear sometimes um, that someone has attempted suicide, right? So they try to take their lives, basically. And for me, praise God, it didn't get to the yeah. suicide. Yeah, now, like, <laughs> you wouldn't It be didn't there. get to the suicide. Mm. Um and that is my biggest testimony. Like every time when I look at my life and I try to remember the good things that the Lord has done, because there are moments in life where you just feel like, you know, things are not going well or you feel like nothing is coming together yeah, yeah. and you feel like God has forgotten you. And I like in those moments to remind myself of the times that God has been good, has been good. and yeah. of the times that God has literally like saved me, you know, and pulled through for me. Yeah. And this testimony about that time in my life um it remains the biggest testimony yeah, of my life yeah. so what happened what had happened was what had happened was <laughs> so when i was a teenager um i was very suicidal at some point so this was when i was 14 um turning 15 yes 14 turning 15 
um, where I was so overwhelmed. Oh my god! You were so young. Oh my word! The thing mm. is, Chomine, there are things that are unfair when they mm. happen, right? I had dealt with so many things as young as I was. I had mm. seen so many things. I had experienced so many things, and my biggest or the root of my being suicidal was as a result of emotional abuse and verbal mm. abuse that I had experienced, sure, you know. Sure. And it had messed up so much with my identity, mm. how mm. I view myself, what I think about myself, sure. what I think I deserve. Um, so much that I resorted to this decision that, you know what, I'm going to take my life and I'm just going to end it because I was tired of, I was just tired, yeah. you know. I was yeah. so tired of crying. I was so tired of thinking about these things because another thing is that at that time there was no one that was safe enough sure. for me to offload to. Yeah. And so these things, the things that were happening kept, you know, like building up. I had been bottling them up inside of me um, with not having anyone to like share that, listen, this is, I'm, I'm carrying such a heavy load, sure. right? Um, and I think that's another factor that contributed to me ultimately wanting to take my life. Mm. The fact that I didn't have anyone to say that, you know what, I hear you. Yeah. Um, and I'm not going, I'm not necessarily going to take away the situation, but I want to assure you that things are going to be okay. okay. Right. So I didn't have that person. I was very overwhelmed, tired, as I already mentioned. And life just felt like too much sure. for me at that time sure. and i just needed a way out mm. and my biggest thing when i was when i was preparing for this um the biggest factor that contributed to the whole thing was my thinking you know mm. like i thought i was a burden because mm. i'm a child that's born out of wedlock mm. right and mm. my parents were trying to blend families and you know mm. and when i looked at it I felt like a burden. Sure, I felt like sure. a common denominator um, for people's, you know, confusion or pain or whatever mm -hmm. that I thought my parents were going through at that mm -hmm. time and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And also other factors around that as well, just like informed me and I thought I was not good enough, you know, mm -hmm. I thought I was a mistake, I mm -hmm. thought I was a burden, I thought there were so many things that were happening in my head sure, and sure. slowly but surely they got so loud mm -hmm. until a time fast forward until okay so I had already had a plan mm -hmm. like, I wanted I wanted a clean job. Okay. I wanted, make, <laughs> I wanted uh, a clean job. So I don't want a story where it's like up here attempted suicide mm. <laughs> you know you wanted to i wanted, I wanted it to be you know i wanted mm. the story to be a pure committed suicide she took her life mm. you, you know so i was living at hostel at that time where i was contemplating this and i was just like it won't work man if i do it here yeah <laughs> like you had a premeditated like yes, idea. Totally, because like i live in uh. hostel there's so many people there's yeah. so many people around Someone would have caught me mm. and called the ambulance and saved me. And mm. I didn't want that. <laughs> I didn't want so that. So I was so mm. serious. And I'm not even joking. I was yeah. so serious. So I remember I was like the I made the decision around January when we were starting school. I was like, okay, let me postpone it for March holidays. Because then I'll go home. Yeah. And then once I got to get mm. the necessary supplies. And be sure that no one is going to find me, you know. Um, so that was my plan, March, mm. that year was going to be the end of it, 2010. And then in Feb that year, um, I got invited, no, I didn't get invited, I'm lying. So there was a memorial service at school for um, Anu Mbuiselo who had passed away. Um, she was a member of the staff sure. at school in the end. Her memorial service was on a Wednesday. You remember the day? I remember the day. It was on a Wednesday and we didn't go to school. So okay. the scholars were not there. The only people that were at school that were day scholars were people that were in the choir. Sure. And also people from hostel that were allowed to go to the memorial service were those people as well. And then there were few of other people, my friends, some of my friends also there, um, that were handling the catering stuff. Yeah, well, making sandwiches and gazas and and I love food. <laughs> so food was a part of my uh, of my testimony of my. Okay. 
So I love food and I was just like, yo, there's Bawela as a sandwiches, you know. I want, I want, I want, I want to find a way to get there. So I, I made my way there in Dangi and Japan. I, I started talking to my friends about the police and they forgot that I wasn't even supposed to be there. Yeah. So a time came where we had to take the sandwiches to the hall. Um, and long story short, when I walked in with that tray in my hands, the pastor was saying, Pastor Boy, mm-hmm. I later learned who he was. Sure. Um, Pastor Boy was saying, I don't know who you are, but I know that you're giving up, and mm-hmm. I know that um, you want to end it all, but I want you to try this mm-hmm. before. If it doesn't work, then you can continue with your mm-hmm. plan. Something along those lines. Yeah. And I was just like so shocked. Uba, like he was speaking I'm to like, me how directly. Is he? Like, yeah. And then he said, if you are that person, then come to the front and receive Jesus as your Lord. And so I was like, to the front, I'm not coming. <laughs> but I will do the prayer oh, while I'm passing on the sandwiches. Wow. And I did the Lord's prayer, accepted wow. Jesus as my Lord and Savior that day. Wow. And literally, while you're passing sandwiches, while I was passing, wow. passing sandwiches, child. Um, yeah. And from that day, something happened, which was mm-hmm. Benati, you know, in my heart. Like, And I like to say that Jesus came in my heart and he gave me hope that mm-hmm. things are going to mm-hmm. be okay. Mm-hmm. Mm. No one preached to me directly about suicidal sure, thoughts and how wrong sure, they are and sure. what will happen if you take your life or, or anything like that. I didn't mm. even hear what the sermon was about that sure. day. But I remember that after that day, I didn't have those thoughts anymore. Yeah. I just felt like I have a purpose again. Mm. I can try again. And mm. I, I like to think of it as literally Jesus snatching me from the mouth of, yeah. uh, of, of death and just like, it gets better. Yeah. It won't always be like it won't this. Always be like this. Yeah, me. So I think Mandy, when the time we take a disclaimer, I'm very sorry. No, guys. Like for me, I'm so glad you didn't go through with the decision because you weren't going to be Sana, there. and I'm turning thirty in June. And that just so it's literally fifteen years later. Wow. Jesus has been holding my life, telling me every day that it's going to be okay for fifteen. For fifteen years. years. And Jamie, I would have been. I'm so glad like you came in when you came in like God is so intentional about everything yeah, like definitely he pulled you in for your love of food to, me, to that wall to me, this is why I feel like <laughs> I always be like this <laughs> literally like I feel like God always gives us a way out you know yeah, what i mean that definitely. was your way out definitely. and at the same time also you had a choice not to listen to it like right. you had a choice because god didn't force your hand yeah. to accept him he like definitely. you had a choice to say mm, uh, this pastor doesn't know what he's talking about mm. like he, he doesn't, doesn't know, know what i'm going yes. through yes because he doesn't have to do what I'm doing. But you made the choice to say, okay, I'm gonna try it out. You know what I mean? Try yes. It's a try and we're trying. And once you once you make corner in the end, I'm going ahead. Uh, so once I made the choice, yes, yes. Wow. I tried man. Jesus, and he actually worked. And he actually worked out. <laughs> he actually worked. Wow. I like, need to go back to Pastor Boy and say. Like, yes, so I call, yes, did, did you ever go back to him and tell him? I never. Jimmy, I only learned about his name even, I think, three years back. Because wow. I shared the, my testimony on Facebook. Sure. And um, someone knew who I was talking mm. about. And he said, and she said, mm. And I was just like, I want to meet him one day. Yes? Please. Because yeah. I don't think he knows. Yeah. I don't think he knows that I definitely, he literally saved my life. I don't think that he knows that. And I think the point of, of us doing this video mm-hmm. is obviously not um, not ukukutaza. What is what is ukutaza? Oh, it's not <laughs> guys English. <laughs> it's not to encourage suicide, mm-hmm. right? Obviously, this is a testimony, and it's to encourage someone that might be feeling like they're at that crossroads yes. where up here where it got to yes. at that time where. Um, I want you, you mentioned something um, when you were preaching, right? Because mm. obviously now you're sharing, you've shared this so many times, like you'll miss some parts. So like I'm trying to remind you of the part where I want you to get to. Mm. Um, you might also be at that crossroads or, or maybe you have been and sometimes maybe, um, okay, maybe you might be okay. at a situation in future. Oh, come on, I don't think that. Um, because situations the end, yeah, I think we talked we, before we shot. We did speak no. about um, the fact that 
Ukubwane, there's so many discouraging situations in life that might get you to it, but it's how you um, react to that. Yes, yes we spoke, we, yes. you said that, I think, in a VN, you said to mm. me, Oba, um, it's not to say that you don't get the negative thoughts yes. that come to you to say yes. you want to kill yourself. Like, even now, now I also get those thoughts sometimes. Because be like, naturally you want to break. Eh, and, well, like suicide seems like a good option and it seems like it's an easy option as well because you Mm. want to absolve yourself from the many struggles and problems that are in front of you and it seems like they're too much and they're never going to go away yeah so i want you to speak on i think you i remember you saying you were at a crossroads where um you, you you chose life yeah you chose Jesus and you chose yes. life. I don't know, man, how you you why they can join, I but think, you. I think that you, it was like you were given two options yeah. and you chose. Eh, well, I don't know. Eh, which one I, I know. I say a lot of things about it because some the your and years they have a on your life. But to my friend, I think for most of the parts, what I thank God for is exposing the lie of the devil yeah. or of the yeah. enemy. Yeah. Because what happens is that, like you were saying, everyone or most people get um, to experience situations where they feel tested, mm-hmm. where they feel like, you know what, too much is happening at the same yeah. time. Yeah. I cannot take it. I don't yeah. have the strength. I yeah. don't even want to continue yes. living because yes. everything is going wrong and yes. whatnot and yes. whatnot. And you want to, like, you just want to rest because yeah. you're tired. Ufuna yeah. You know? Yeah. And that's when the enemy then comes in mm, to mm, convince you. Mm, with the yeah, ideas. Well, to convince you. Yes, the situations mm. are there, but then he convinces you that in Yani, you take your life because mm. we're useless. Mm. You're reaching 30, mm. you're reaching 35, mm. you're reaching 40 years, you have nothing to show for cool. it. Cool. You know? He cool. will convince you that then you are not loved. People mm. don't, like, imagine work, a day has gone by, a week has gone by. Mm. You've gone off the radar on social media. No one is checking up on you. Do you yeah. see that people don't care about you? So whether you live or die, it's the same thing. Mm. So that's what the enemy does. He comes in and rides on our moments of weakness. Yes. And yes. then yes. he preaches something that, okay, if you do this, da 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 you know? And that is when you need to be very vigilant. Because like we said, everyone goes through a tough time at some point. Yes. But then it's very important to be mindful of what you think and what you're allowing inside yes. or what you're accepting as the yes. truth. Because just because Uti, you are a failure doesn't mean you are. Yeah, yeah. You may feel like it or situations around you may feel like it, but even if at that moment you failed, so what? Mm. You know, there is going to be a time where you win at something and failure can be a, a, a learning curve yeah. or whatever the case yeah. may be. Able. So it's also... For me, I'd say if you're feeling suicidal, it's a sign that number one, you need help. Yeah, there's in there, there, there is a problem. Mm. You understand? It's not to say okay, continue with mm. what you think you should do. Continue because you don't want anyone taking their lives. Yeah. Everyone's life is so precious, no. and God is not no. done with you until He's the one that decides yes. to take you. Yes. You understand? Yes. So premature death is something that I really, really, really hate. Mm. Like it breaks mm. my heart so much to me. Like. When I pray about premature death, mm. like it, it, it gets so personal to me mm. because my life was almost cut short yeah. because Usatana rode on my pain. Yo, he yo. rode on my pain. At such a young age. At also. such a young age. Yo. He rode on the fact that I'm broken. Mm. He rode yeah. on the fact that I needed someone to like offload and I didn't have that person. Mm. And I was going back and forth in my head yeah. with those thoughts. Yeah. Um, and he had. You won't get you failed to do whatever you wanted to do, yeah, yeah. So it is a sign that if you're feeling suicidal, if you have suicidal thoughts, seek for help. Yes, expose professional the, help. Like expose the thoughts. Say, yeah. Professional help. Talk to someone. Go to ch- if you're a person that goes to church. Yeah. From your family, if there's anyone that's there that yeah. you can talk to, theta you yeah. so that you can bounce off yeah. the issues on somebody yes. else. Yes. I trade about Yakov and that's and it's really heavy but deny into it is a good one. We are kumbula so for me I think we shouldn't see it as um something that we should go ahead with but rather as something that our minds and our bodies uses to tell us 
by your, your your mental health battery is very low. Very but, low. Yeah, you need to recharge. You need to do whatever you usually do. Yeah. Yeah. But you're not a premature death. But none. Dude, um, like as you're speaking, um, this um, the story in the Bible where I think there's a couple of these similar stories yeah. where um, the blind man was um, calling out to Jesus, yes. son of David, have mercy mm. on me. And the and the disciples were like, hey, you, go away. Like, obviously, I'm paraphrasing, yes. like, hey, you, go away. Like, you're making a noise and whatnot. Mm-hmm. No, they, and they didn't find him I'm worthy enough. Hey, yes, I'm I'm busy, I'm busy. He's busy with, like, serious things. Yeah, you know? you know what I mean? But he didn't stop. Where I'm getting to, yes. it's where you mentioned, or call someone, or, like, I don't know, reach out to someone. And even if, because... Um, even if um, it happens that um, that person doesn't give you attention, because yes, it happens. It does. I, I, I'm saying this because I've gotten that before. Mm. And I was not at a suicidal point, but I was at a, desperate I guess, a disparate point. point in time where I felt like I needed spiritual help. Okay. Where I felt like my spiritual battery was going down. <laughs> you get what I mean? Like my... It's but a you gotta, it's a team at every point in time. You get what I mean? And I was reaching out because I, I realized that I need help. Okay. Ne? I, re- I need help. Mm-hmm. I had tried praying on my own. In fact, I couldn't even pray. Mm-hmm. So the next best thing is to reach out to someone. someone yes. I think the close friend, the close friend that I that I had at that time was also going through something. Mm-hmm. Um, a loved one had passed away mm-hmm. and whatnot, and I felt like yo. You know, you always have that person that you're like, I know if I speak to this person, they will help me. And then the next person that I I spoke... In fact, okay, I didn't speak to that person because obviously they were going through a lot. Mm-hmm. And then the next person that I spoke to, I sent this whole long VN, mm-hmm. you know, they mm-hmm. mized it. Yeah! Blue tick. Blue tick. After being so vulnerable. Oh, I No, I was I like, I oh God, <laughs> I've, I've literally oh gotten to the point where it is not me. It is not me. I say, I've reached out. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I was so... I, you can even hear, oh but I, I didn't even have the words. And I was like, oh, God. Like, like spiritual death, I guess. Mm. Because I don't want to end. Glenn, I yes. And I know if I stay in this moment... It's only going down from it's here. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. Mm. And I spoke to um, someone else as well, who is like, an, you know, one of my mentors. And now I mentioned this thing, but ah, I'm not okay spiritually, mm. you know, whatever. And she just, she just, just mized it. Like, she just, <laughs> she was like, oh yeah, you'll be okay, whatever. Okay. I'm like, you. Yeah. It also becomes like, what you're saying is very important. And yeah. it also becomes um, important for you to also persist. Persist. In finding that's out. Right. Literally. There is going to be someone that's going to listen to Literally. you. Literally. Even if you reach out to us, Ben, after this, and she mises you, look for someone. Like, because it happens. It happens. It doesn't mean people. that when that person doesn't give you they're attention, bad they're something. bad people or you're not supposed to get help. Mm. That's where I was getting to the yes. point of the blind man calling mm. out to Jesus. The first time he called out, he didn't get a response. In fact, the other people were like, ugh. So no. what? Remember, it's a sign when people no. are not paying attention that maybe Nyana should go ahead. Hey, wait, call out yes, again. Yes, Up yes. until... Jesus, you know, answered and he actually received a sight through yes. the persistence. Like how 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 like how much how bad do you want this? Yes. You get what I mean? But I know also that with someone who is at a suicidal point, Can obviously they don't they don't want they don't want, but at the same time want, but I'd like to yes, we're definitely mm-hmm. we're gonna have a session after this where we um, are going to pray, you know, um, if you are feeling um, like that. But at the same time, I'd like to encourage you to seek help, yes. even if it's not like as a first step, gay, IP way, even if it's not professional help, mm-hmm. right? Because I know that other people are scared of mm-hmm. professional help. But I learn your baumati. Yo, people are going to judge me. Okay, you like my friend Yazi with that professional help thing. Yazi, there are toll-free landlines that you can call. That no one can no know one about. Knows you. Yes, no one knows you. You yes. just make that call. You speak to these people. They counsel you over the yeah. phone. Sometimes you don't even disclose what your name is. Yeah. yeah. And those people are quite efficient yeah. and very professional. Like, if you don't even want to disclose who you are, what your yeah. name is, they are very 
lenient because they understand yes. yes, guys suicide is a very urgent thing it you know? is and it it's is also to people that um, are around you like yo that this joke sending us tandy yo bra like is in those about if you follow bulalas bulal i i don't like them at all because yeah. if you say that to a, the wrong person they actually want to do it they are actually going to do it actually and do it. It, it's so it's important for us to as a society now um to be very vigilant about mm. the comments we make around the subject it has to be taken seriously and also to me if i say to you i want to kill myself don't take it as a joke yeah. rather treat it as a special case or yeah. as a serious case until i say myself about I'm in denial, yeah. you know. Rather you um, over avail yourself than to shut the person down. Or can you to make a silly comment and yeah. leave it like that? And even if it's a strong person, because some, exactly. sometimes you have this thing exactly. where I was a man, I a strong person. So if I would say that, mm. definitely I'm joking. Because, yes. for example, maybe you usually get encouraged from mm. me, encouragement from me. So mm. now when I'm saying to you, that say, hey, son, I'm asking this bulal, you're mm. like, no, surely that's not true. Surely we are joking. Uh, because you know, so even if it's a strong person, please mm. open up, you know, yourself to helping that person. Mm. Um, you know, um, that they need. Mm. So I want to us to focus on the word of God now because okay. we we've said our oh, own words and opinions and, and whatnot. <laughs> I, mean, I just want us to to stamp on God's truth, you know, and what God says in his word about mm. our identity and who we are, you know. And I'd like to just affirm, okay, just to stamp on this word, I think now you said you were going to mention it, where mm. the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Exactly. You understand? So don't think that... Um, for me, in, in in the notes, I think that I wrote down in the morning, it was to 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 say, Mana, you're making the enemy's job easier when mm. you kill yourself. Mm. You get what I mean? Because mm. it comes to comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Mm. So his main aim is to cut your life short, is to cut your destiny short. Mm. So when you kill yourself, oh yeah, it's like a win. You get what I mean? Mm. Because you've done you've done his job already mm. for him, so he doesn't have to. To, to go around uh, now and go to make sure that you die because you've already done it yourself. So Kuya is the greatest way to get you to do it yourself yeah. because you made his job literally easier. You know and I mean? also show me with that scripture because it's also a scripture that I had said I wanted to touch on John 10 in my notes. Sure. <laughs> John 10, 10 um, where the Bible says that theft only comes um, comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come, this is Jesus, that they may have life and mm, have it mm, to the full. Mm. So sometimes mm. killing, when, when the Bible speaks about the enemy coming to kill or the thief coming to kill, it doesn't necessarily mean like, mm. you know, but who mm. starts to kill you, in your head, you know, yeah, yeah. and this is something that he thrives on, on yes. people that are, are weak. People that are hurt, disappointed. I mean, to me, there's a lot of stresses that happen in yeah, life, yeah. and Usatana will always want to mm. preach something at your lowest, mm. you know. Mm. So he will try to kill you, but when you must choose life because yes. Jesus came so that you may have life, you and have not life. just life, in but have it in abundance. abundance. So premature death is not your portion. Yeah. Dying before your time is not your portion. Lacking is not your portion. Yes, yes. Um, Getting things stolen from you is not, your, not portion, your portion, you know. Yes. So you can't allow the enemy or agree with the enemy and, and allow him to convince you to, to cut your life short and still your future, still your purpose, still your identity, yes. still whatever it is that God has still in store yes. for you. You yes. understand? Yes. So it's yes. very important. I know if you are suicidal, I know a lot of things sound like it be your yeah, yeah. yeah. sound like you don't understand yeah. you know uh, you don't understand but once you surrender everything to god which is also very important yes. the person that has given you life the person that has said i want you to have it in abundance go to him mm -hmm. saying mm -hmm. but yeah. now i am at my lowest and this is how I feel. I yeah. feel like in us going to even us go switch, mm. but in the Akoyika because mm. you are the one that created me. So I'm mm. so scared to take my life because you are the one that gave it that to me, and I don't life. want to insult you like yeah. that. Um. So I, I, 
I'm giving you full authority yeah. and permission to work this however way you want yeah. it to work. Yeah. We are able, yeah. and I and I pray that once you start doing that, once you start surrendering everything, and once you start just trying Jesus, yeah. you know, sometimes you are born again already, but mm. these thoughts still come. Mm. Try him some more yeah. and allow him to open you to to allow you to see a different side of him, yeah. a different facet of him, mm. so that you may experience this life that he says he came so that you may have. And also he doesn't give you a load that's too much too for you to bear. You to um there's a scripture that I, I just screenshotted here. I think it's first Corinthians chapter ten. Um, verses 13 it says no temptation has overtaken you except mm. what is common to mankind and God is faithful he will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear yes. and when you are tempted he will also provide a way mm. out so that you can endure it yes. doesn't mean that you're not going to go through the situation yes. but it will give you the strength to endure, to endure it yes. yeah more. So just know that God will never, ever, ever give you a situation that is too hard for you. And I'm saying this from someone who has gotten to the point where, um, as you say, as you said, Bana, Omnium to my think, okay, this is just theory. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? I've gotten to a point where, where my parents, uh, just after my parents passed away, I felt like I was literally saying to God, you said that you'd never give me a burden too hard for me mm-hmm. to bear, but this is too hard for me it's to bear. Hard. I used to tell God that th- I feel like this is you know come on this is above my pay grade like yes. literally this is like it's too much it's too much for me and i know i'm strong but i no, like you said this in your <laughs> word and i guess also it's good to challenge god on his word yes. that's it to tell him yes. this, this is, is what, what you you've said in yes. your word so it's important for you to just surrender yourself to god but okay Lord, I am feeling mm. like this is too much of a burden. Mm. Please show me a way out. Because oh, you say, don't so that is staring at the cell phone bar. In fact, it's a bad thing. We are not going to call the locals. We are not going to call the locals. We are not going to call the locals. I'll call right. It's too much. Yes. And it's not, like, also, I want, I want you to know that it's normal to get those moments but it's not normal for about to kill to yourself ahead, but yes. it's, it's it's what you do with that situation, with that situation. you know what i mean yes. you'll always have How the you voice and uh, yes. you always have the voice of the enemy you know telling you about you nyani, as you were saying with mm. your story about nyani, people don't like you people don't mm. love you don't 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 but it's you it's your choice to choose but I'm not going to listen to this voice. What does the word of God what are, say? What does the word mm. of God say? And go, what does the word of God say? Mm. And go, the more you go to God in prayer, the more these voices, I guess, become soft and the, the voice of God becomes louder in your mm. life. You're more inclined now to seek God as your first option yes. when these voices come because you're already, you know, in God's presence. Because yeah. another thing that the enemy can do is that he will want to reel you away from God. We are Kupa out of his presence. So that by the time he comes to you, you feel like you're too far from God yes. that he cannot hear you. Whereas his word says that his hand is not you too know far. too far mm-hmm. that he can't, you know he can't save you. And you are important to God. You have a purpose. Yes. God has made you and created you on yes. this earth. For a reason, for a, for a, for a purpose, and his plans for your life is for you to prosper. So yes. please don't give up. When you get to that point, seek God's word. You know, yes. and even if you Google scriptures, like you don't have to be a, a scripture guru person. Because someone will be like, where can I find it? Google scriptures on suicide or like you know encouragement. Chubby, or do you whatnot. know that Elijah was suicidal at some point? Really? I actually, I actually, I actually know, you that. know that. I never noticed that. Elijah no. was suicidal at some point. Mm. Wow, well, you saw like in a cave. Mm. Um, and he told God to buy him now. He wants, and then God sent food. And he said to him, The mm. journey is still long. It's still long. Of the second ah, time. Ah, you yeah. cannot. <laughs> Mm. you know mm. so that is also just a sign to say that it doesn't matter who you are like yeah. these thoughts yeah. can creep up on anyone um and you might yes i think after that when i was 15 i only had those thoughts again mm. when i was like what 
28, beginning 29. Sure. But then you know, you know what? I know the remedy for this yeah, for me, get that yeah, is. And also yeah. us saying that me saying actually in my testimony that Jesus saved me, that's my story. Yeah. So what mm. I know this in the end. And I'm, I want to say that Utiko will use his strategy that will work for you. Yeah. And yeah. it doesn't need to be something that's the same as mine. Yeah. So to say, yeah, but, but they when the point is that when they do come, chances are that they'll come again. Mm. Yeah, I understand that because again it's the mind telling you that you know, mm. mm. so you need to, to know that you're not alone. You're not the only person that experiences those things, but what's important is how you come back. And yeah, I think Uzuri has, has wrapped it up to say yeah. there is a way. There is a way out. It may not feel like it, but there is a way out. And we pray that God reveals that for you yes. specifically, that yes. he gives you a way out that is tailor-made for you. Yes, God loves you. You're important to God. Amen. Like, yeah, there's so much that you haven't seen right now yes. that God has in store for you. There's many destinies attached to your own life and the enemy knows that. So he wants you to give up so that the other people that are supposed to be saved through your life you know, get yeah. cut off and, and don't get saved. Yeah, yeah. So you are very much important. Let's wrap it up here. Yeah, yes. If there's anything we've left out, I mean, we've got all the time in the world. Like, we've got the whole year. She'll come back, man. Um, comment down below if there was anything that you resonated with or whatever that it is that you want to comment or a word of encouragement to also, someone. Also, yes, if you have something to yeah. add on what you've already said, just for yes. someone that's watching and reading yeah. the comments, please do drop your um, comments as well. Thank you so much for coming here. It's I appreciate you. It's and thank you so much for coming. By the way, Apiwe is also um, a social worker. I forgot yeah. to mention that in the... You can hear in how she speaks and how in she knows eyes. exactly what she's saying. You know what I mean? <laughs> but thank you so much for coming. Thank and you. Um, thank you so much for watching up until this far. All you need to do to become part of this family is just click that red subscribe button. Subscribe right now. <laughs> please. Please. That is it. Thank you so much. Till next time. Bye. Bye.